Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I've got just a really quick, I think it's going to be really quick, uh, video for you today. I got a request about my, um, to, to do another version of my Mary Trees and Stars paper kit. So I did that. This time I called it Mary Trees Second Edition. And so there are some new color combinations and some new images. So the, the change in color is slight, but it is there if you compare the two. And in here, let me get the, some of the originals. I don't have the originals printed, but you might be able to see some of the slight differences uh, just in the greens of the trees and the stars are in different colors in the new kit. So the original featured a bunch of different little angels or fairies, and I love them, but I understand that it's also fun <laughs> to have other things to craft with and other images and ideas. So I'm going to show you the new kit, and I'm going to show you a few ideas I have that I hadn't shown with the original kit just yet, but I really do love these. And I'm glad you guys have told me that you like them too. I'm gonna leave the little dangle there. Okay, so the new kit is 10 pages and it's just trees, stars, and some little words and the, the images. And so, I printed an additional one that has this cute little chubby Santa. Isn't he precious? And I kept a Merry and Bright on in one or two spots, but then I added this new Merry Christmas. And then I have Mrs. Claus. Isn't she cute? And that green is really vibrant. And I did Ho 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 in a couple of different sizes. But see, here's a pink star. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you some of the other colors that came out. So let me show you a few that I've made with this kit. So there's Santa and Mrs. Claus. There's this super cute gingerbread man. And there's a blue star that's new. I did keep one of the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas in this kit. And then this one has this sweet little chick. Isn't she cute? Again, so we've got some different shades and colors of stars to coordinate with all of these images. Here's Santa decorated. So he can be an ornament, he can be a fabulous gift tag, he can be added like to the front of a journal or tucked inside, all kinds of things you could do with these once they're put together. There's Mrs. Claus put together. I just gave her a really nice star and a sparkly, used that Merry Christmas. And then there is, I think this is, Oh, this, there is an angel. She's different than the original kit. She has different wings. And this one, I, I sat there and I sewed a bunch of these kind of flowery shaped sequins on there. And they're so pretty. And after, I did one, two, three, four. After sewing those five, I'm like, you know, I could just glue these on. They would still look beautiful. <laughs> and it was a lot easier and quicker. So that was an idea that I had done before. And you could do regular sequins, different sizes. But I just, I like those little flower-shaped ones. So that was fun. And then in the kit, there's also this cute elf. I haven't made one with him yet. So we'll do that together here in a minute. And then there is this cute little deer isn't he precious with his little scarf so again you get plenty of plain trees and some of the different papers or you know the color combinations so that you can do layering you you don't have to layer this one I didn't use any anything except the kit I glued this tree to one of the it's a jingle bells uh, music paper and then I did the blue star on the green star and the have yourself a merry little Christmas. And that was it. And I think it looks great. And again, can be taped to a package, added into a journal, um, to a card, whatever. So lots of options. Now, I wanted to give you, so if you want to see what I made the first time with the original kit, with all the little fairies. There's a video that shows you how I layered and assembled and put these together. I used brads, I used eyelets, I used staples, I used 
a, a little bulb pin and dangles through the eyelet. I'll link that video in the description. It was several weeks ago, just in case you missed it and you want to see more of that kit. Today, I'm just going to do a couple of little... Uh, little ones with a couple of new ideas. Here, here's one other new idea. So I did quite a bit of layering with the stars before, but this time I used some of these dots. They're the little ones that are on foam and on each layer and popped it up to make it 3D. And of course this would look super cute, you know, layered with some of the trees like that, you know, as an ornament or again, a gift tag. I think standalone, it's really cute and, and just so simple. And then I just put a flat back sparkly sequin on there. So that was an idea. And let me move this out of the way. Another thing that I did, these come, just when you print them, some come in this size and some come in this kind of medium size and then I thought well wouldn't it be fun if I printed a few of the pages <laughs> mini sized <laughs> so I was really excited um sometimes when things are tiny they're just so stinking cute and I thought well now this is really fun and really cute so I haven't really even thought through what I'm gonna make with them but there's the little stars. And this was like, I just picked on my printer. You can do a percentage or you can do like a photo size. And I just clicked four by six to see what it would do. And that's what we ended up with. So we could do any or all of the same ideas, but just tiny sized. And I think they're so, they're, they're actually really easy to cut out. So I was also just thinking how cute to just do a two from and just use it as a little name gift tag for your packages. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so let's just grab these. There's there's really nothing particularly magic about it. There's just lots of different ways you can layer. And I had an idea to take two, so take one of the really large ones like this, the green one, and then kind of just find a fun place that I want to layer it at and and almost do like a I don't know an asymmetric it's not even asymmetrical just I don't know something that was set offset and to see what that might look like and again where you can just take something so simple and then have something that looks really good I think what I do want to do I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to cut the trunk off of this one. I may end up cutting the trunk off of that other one as well. But let me start with this one because for whatever reason, this is kind of speaking to me to bring it over like this. And then I was thinking maybe over like this. And then we could have some kind of, maybe we need a fun... Would it look good to have a super layered star? Maybe. We could also see what it would look like popping these up. Let, let's try that for a second. So I'm going to pop the second layer up really quick. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know, sometimes this is just how I craft. I like have my, my fun papers and I'm like, okay, what is going to look really cute. I'm just randomly putting some up here because I want it, I still want it to be nice and secure, but I am going to do it where this, this edge is loose. Okay. That'll be fine. So while I'm pulling the backs of these off, if you want to see any of the supplies that I use, most of them, not, not everything I get is from Amazon, but many of the, especially the basic supplies and some of the fun paper kits that are not digital scrapbooking kits, you'll find on my Amazon storefront. And it is linked for you in the description. And it is an affiliate link, which means Amazon pays me a few pennies if you end up making a purchase. But it's no cost to you, so it just helps me out as a creator just a little bit, and every little bit helps. So if you're interested and you just want to see, please go take a look. <clears throat> okay. 
I am going to pick a place to lay this and we're just going to go for it. All right. I used to use these. Oops, this one was off. <laughs> See, it was just off a little bit. I'm just going to pull it off of there. Rip it. Brute strength, Pam. Um, I used to use these little foam pop-up dots all the time when I was like really into like stamping up card making and scrapbooking. And um, I don't use them as much as I used to, but I really enjoy them. So they're fun. Okay, that's kind of cute coming back this direction instead of continuing there. So what do we want to do? What do we want? I think I want it like that. And I'm going to do just a few dots on this one. We'll do kind of down the middle, like four, and then just two along that side. I almost threw those away. I almost threw them in my wastebasket. So let me know what you think of this new kit. Like I said, it's very similar to the original, but instead of the fairies, you get the, the different little characters and a, a Merry Christmas in a different font and what was the other one? Ho, ho, ho. So anyway, give it, give it a look. And I also understand if you're like, oh gosh, it's so similar. That's okay too. It was not too hard for me to change it up. And I hope that it at least will interest someone, right? How cute. I know I'm going to have fun with it. And sometimes that's what matters, right? <laughs> All right. I'm thinking, do we want a pink star? Pink star might be fun. And then maybe we should use some one of the Jingle Bell stars. It's even bigger. Hmm. Do I need a little one? Sometimes I like doing this and not turning it, but just layering that top star. I kind of like that. And I don't think I need these popped up along with it. So I think I'm just gonna glue these together. Now you can ink around all of these. I haven't taken the time to do that, but a bunch of these that I've made, they are inked and it looks really nice. So depending on the look you wanna go for, ink or don't ink, that's okay. I'm just going to use some of my wet white glue. This is Lineco brand PVA glue in little dispenser bottles. And again, you can find that in the adhesive section of my Amazon store if you are interested. Okay, I'm going to glue that together. See how easy these just, go? well, of course, I did the hard work, which was cutting them out. Right? I'm whispering as if you guys don't know that's the hard part. But it really isn't that hard. It just takes a little time. All right. Super duper duper cute. I think I'm going to turn it so that the green part of the star is facing up. And let's punch a hole. So this is similar to some of the other ones that I've made. But again, I'm making things that make me happy. I do kind of like seeing the top of the tree there. And this star certainly covers that up. I could go wacky and attach it differently. Hmm. Let me just think for a second. There was something kind of neat about seeing that layer there. Let me set that aside for a second. I almost, I almost poked, poked a hole right in it. But now I'm thinking, can I do something different? Here's where I printed the little teeny tiny ones. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'll save that for the teeny tiny ones. Here's one of our ho ho ho's. And I did leave a strip of these words in this version of the kit and um, a white Christmas, a silent night. So you can print these at different sizes, different sizes of the Merry Christmas. Maybe we'll use the new Merry Christmas. Let's see, let's go with this, this one. Like I said, I love printing things all different sizes, but in case you struggle a little bit with your printer, 
a lot of these are included in the kit, you know, at different sizes. So there's some different size stars, different size trees, different size words. Um, that was something somebody had told me that they appreciated. All right, I think I'm going to do more of a kind of organic fussy cut around the letters. And see what that looks like. So are you, let, leave me a comment. Let me know, are you guys still in big Christmas crafting mode? Are you kind of done? Have your cards, things done, and you've moved on to other things to prep for the season? Tell me where you guys are at. And if you're ready for me to, if you, you still want more, more Christmas projects, or I'll probably make more regardless of what you guys say, because I'm still Christmas crafting. But let me know. Are y'all interested in moving on to maybe more winter or even thinking about New Year? It's going to be Valentine's before we know it. Tell me what you guys are thinking of and what you're most interested in. I'm going to glue this right here just to that first tree so that the Merry Christmas kind of floats too. Maybe I'll just do one tiny little star right there. And we'll put something sparkly on it. I like that. And I'll use this star for a different one. Oh, I kind of like how this one's turned out. All the different layers. This is going to bother me, so I am going to add some more glue. And we're just going to stick it down. It was a little too flappy for me. So do we want something sparkly? Do we want to put a cute little ribbon on it? Maybe we do. Let's go ahead and poke. I'm going to poke the small hole right there. And maybe we'll add an eyelet and then a piece of ribbon. What do you say? I'm going to go with this kind of rosy gold color because it kind of makes me think of the fur of the deer. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a similar, similar color. To tell me what you guys think. And, you know, I have friends that have talked to me about some like are like, oh, 100% I want traditional Christmas colors, like the reds and the greens and the golds and the silver, that kind of thing. And then I have folks tell me, oh, but I love the pinks and the blues and the, the different color greens. And so I've been trying to kind of do a little bit of both. But um, tell me what you guys like. Like, what are you drawn towards? And I, I go back and forth because I kind of like it all. And... So everything's kind of eclectic <laughs> when it comes to my Christmas decorations and things. I have very traditional, I love vintage as you guys know. I have things that are a little more, I don't know, modern or updated like these guys. I don't know if updated is the right word, but definitely different, right? Uh, yeah, I go back and forth. So... I guess that's okay. When I think about, and again, even in my decorations, because I have things that people have given me, I have a little bit of everything. Probably if I'm like shopping or looking at things that, that I might end up purchasing for myself, you know, for our home, I probably end up getting, leaning more towards the vintage, um, the vintage style and those colors. Cute. All right, and I'm just gonna do a little loop, like just kind of tie it through once, and certainly it should be loose enough that it makes a nice little fuzz. But if we needed to redo it, we could or undo it to tie it onto something. Cute, yeah, I like that. Just layering them differently, it gives it a completely different look. See. Kind of, I mean, I think they're both cute, but a, a totally different project. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. All right, let's just do, I was going to do this elf because I haven't done him yet. And maybe I'll just show you, honestly, if you are 
just wanting something that I think, again, has a nice, a nice, um, what am I trying to say? Nice impact, but you're ready to just go and you're in a hurry. I'm going to put glue on Mary and Bright. I'm going to hold those down. You see a little bit of the green, lighter green under the darker green. I'm going to get us. So, so this is how you can do it if you really want to go fast. Just cut them out. Get yourself a piece of fuzzy yarn or ribbon or twine or something you want to use. I'm going to tie this so that it has a little loop on one end. I've told you guys how sometimes tying with this fuzzy yarn is a little challenging. There we go. All right, so see, I've got a loop. And then I'm going to hold it. It makes it have a nice little fuzz there. I am grabbing my stapler, which is probably what y'all could have guessed. And look at that. Super fast, super cute. And what a great gift tag. What a great little ornament or journal card. All right, we did it. That was fast. Now, I'm because I wanted to play with my little tiny ones just for a moment. And I didn't print out a bunch of the other little trees. I don't even know what happened. There was a fourth one, and it's here on my desk somewhere. Now, one thought I had was, again, just make these into little tags. But then, <laughs> then I started thinking, wouldn't it be cute? to put these almost like their own little ornaments on one of the tree. <laughs> I don't know. It might be cute. I'm going to do it. So do I want to be like completely like, now this would be the word symmetrical, one, 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 right? Or do I want them kind of dangling at different points? Oh, and a star. So maybe we use our star. Let's get the star on there. And we'll hang, like pretend hang, right? These on the tree. And then we could add some little stars on the tree. That's like way too much matchy matchy. I'm going to put the pink. All right, I'm not gonna overthink this. I'm just gonna go with my little idea. I will probably print a bunch of these this size or maybe even a touch smaller and use them as really simple just put a little piece of thread you know string on them and tie them onto some packages but I think this is going to be fun if I had some and I haven't printed them but if I had printed some of the trees that are plain in the lighter color. I think that would make this pop a little better on my tree. See how cute that one's looking. These are looking almost too similar. But I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I was thinking about using like the bulb pens or something but I think that's a little overkill it's just too much I'm just going to randomly put these three little trees on the big tree the other thing that would be cute is to just cut the little animals out like a fussy cut and put them on as some kind of decoration all right there we go now I know what I can do I'm going to grab this basket of little sequins. This one has a variety of shapes and colors. I'm not going to take the time to sew them, but we might just glue a few on. I wanted some of these gold ones. All right. I don't know. It may end up looking kind of silly and goofy, but I like silly and goofy sometimes. All right. 
right here's some more of the gold ones i think i'm gonna put that there i'm just gonna scatter these Ooh, that's kind of fun isn't it maybe maybe here's a red one Get some red and some silver whole bunch of gold going on right there let me get here's a little little red whoa and a pink I don't know if I want a pink maybe we need a little bit more silver I don't think I'm gonna put those larger ones on there I am thinking hmm where did the blue there it is. Thinking about just for the heck of it doing that. Oh goodness, is it fun watching somebody sort through their crazy sequin bag? I don't know, but that's what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys aren't like completely going somewhere else right now. All right. I've got to give that some thought. Let me clean up a few sequins off my desk and I do love to sew sequins on they look cute you know but I am going to just grab this glue that I have and I got to be careful not to get it all over my fingers and glue myself together this isn't as crazy as like super glue and you do have to let it like sit for a second and I don't know if I, I tend to, when I'm gluing on sequins like this, this is what I did before, is I just put it on the paper and then just tapped these down instead of attempting to put too much on the sequin itself. Ah! And it did work, so hopefully it's going to work this time as well. Oh, I think it's going to be fun. This does not need this kind of glue, but this is what I have in my hand. So we're just gonna glue that down. I think it would help. Some of these sequins have that little curve to them. And if I make sure I lay it down with the most flat portion to the paper, I think it's gonna glue better. And if I just give it some time, I would say if you're going to use this kind of glue, and I do believe it's in my Amazon shop with my adhesives, um, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Okay. My craft room, even though it's a mess, it's quite large. You can even open a window, you know, if you need to make sure the door's open. I've got the door open and I'm going to close it up here in just a second. But yeah, don't get yourself feeling gross or a headache or whatever with this glue. Okay, that's my, my PSA for today, my public service announcement. All right, hopefully I got all of those sort of glued down. And I always put the lid on this particular one I bought a multi-pack of these. I don't remember what I was working on. I was doing something with sequins or stones or not sequins, but like the little flat backs. And I, you get several of these tubes in the pack. I've only opened this one and I've had it open for months and it hasn't dried up on me. So I'm pretty happy with that. Just in case you are in the market for some adhesive. All right. I think this one's having a little bit of trouble because of those other layers underneath. These other ones seem to be doing pretty well. All right. I don't know that I need the teeniest, tiniest Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, but it seems to be the only one I have printed out right now or cut out. I don't know. It looks too tiny. I'm not going to use it. All right cuteness I think you'll be able to see they're not falling off but I am gonna let them dry a little bit more and I may put some type of ribbon or bow on there but anyway we're gonna stop I'm gonna stop the video I said this one was gonna be quick I hope you guys like it I love this star 
I'm going to use that on a package 100%. Uh, if you do, give the video a thumbs up. I hope that you will, even if you're not shopping today or when you're watching the video, uh, but I still hope you'll click on the link and pop over to my Etsy shop just to look around. All of that tells YouTube and Etsy and all of that that people are liking my content. And it's a free way to help support my channel. So thank you guys. And I'm not sure um, I'm not sure when this video is going live, but I hope you guys had a wonderful, if you're in the U.S., a wonderful holiday week. It's Thanksgiving week here. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.